Hello there and welcome to another video of coding in AL and today we are going to try and create some complex filters using the filter group. When you look at the documentation for the filter group there are several examples and one that is key that you might need to go deep into is um the different filters that we have using the filter group for instance let's look at the filter group zero anytime you're creating a filter uh for instance let's say i would like to create a filter for ten thousand here to maybe twenty thousand anytime you do such a filter when you filter your page you are setting your filter on this particular filter group let's say subconsciously without knowing even if it's in code you have set your filter or you set a range you always use the default filter group zero but do you know that you can be able to use different filter groups and be able to achieve very good results um, you can set a filter group from negative one all the way to 255 you just set it by a number which we'll look at it in a few but uh, it's advisable that you maybe only use zero and maybe negative one but if it's your custom filter group you should use a filter group that is outside this range maybe above eight from ten onwards um filter group zero is the default and this is a filter group when you use the filter group zero the user can be able to clear that filter using the clear filter so when you clear that filter and it's filter group zero okay when the user sets it's definitely filter group zero so if i clear the filter every other record is displayed but with these other filter groups once the filter has been set especially in code the user cannot be able to change that particular filter and this is a very good control in a case where for instance you'd like to display maybe vendors of location yellow for particular employees or users who belong to that particular location and you'd like to prevent them from seeing any other vendor or you have a specific filter you have a huge a huge data set and you don't want everybody to see everything in that particular data set you can make use of filter groups in your code and be able to uh, prevent that so let's look at an example of filter group zero the default one um so i will just uh, set a filter for the one that you have just seen for the number this is a page a custom page that will open has used the vendor as the table so the source table is a vendor and uh, i'm just displaying these few fields for the vendor table and so we'll set the number to be this ten thousand to twenty thousand but i'm supposed to use set range let me just change it instead of set filter so this is done um this is by default in filter group zero let me run it without setting any uh okay there's no need let me just set um how we use the filter group you just specify the record dot filter group and then it takes in a number that is either zero and then up to that range that we have said so we are at filter group zero let me run this there's no difference when you have filter group zero because this is the default and we should be able to clear this filter once we publish we'll be able to see uh, the behavior of filter group zero the default one so by default we have filtered to these two values but we have the option of clearing that particular filter we can clear it and be able to see any other value what if we want to prevent the user from seeing any other value apart from the ones that we have filtered in our code so let me go back to this code and change this filter group to 
let's say uh, 17. Uh, I want to use a filter group that is not in the range of 1 to 7 because those are predefined. And then I'll run the application. It's also ad advisable to return or to set the filter group back to the filter group, uh, the default filter group of 0 once you have set that. So, but uh, we have already run. So, if I try to clear the filter, you can see there is no option of clearing the filter. It's only displaying these values. And this is a very good control that you can use and where you, you have prevented users from seeing what they shouldn't see. But you can you have the option of adding a filter on top of this. That's why it's important to reset it back to filter group zero to enable you to keep adding a filter on this particular view. Okay. Let's uh, get more curious or more, uh, um, okay, let's explore further these complex filters and how we can use them. In SQL, there is usually, uh, you can select and use and or or. So in NAV, uh, if I set this range to be this uh, 10,000 to uh, 20,000, and again, I set, uh, let me use the same field, and I set the range to be for the number again uh, to let's say maybe 10,000 to let me say 20,000 again. Let me say let's say 30,000 to probably 50,000. This customer range, this one will override this particular range by default. So this one will take precedence because that is the last one that has been set. So the filter group can enable us to have, uh, let's say, the behavior of the and. We want to display customers that belong to this range and they also belong to this particular range. But you know, like when you have such a data set, you can't really get um, that particular uh, good view with that unless we go back and view our data set and be able to see how we can use the and so let me just comment this first we need to get what we the, the usage scenario of the and and then we'll be able to use it Where is my filter group? Is it still off? I need to go back to zero. Forgot 17 doesn't display what I want. And uh, I needed to go back to filter group zero. So we can clear filter easily when you have the filter group zero so let's try it and see what do we want in this particular range um, let's say we want a customer whose number is um, between 10,000 and 20,000 and again the number let's try and see let me look at this number three number three the customers which, whose number starts with three okay i'm used to customers and these are vendors so vendors whose number starts with three can be a good example so the number starts with three and it contains um, what what is a unique value for this number again it starts with three and contains a zero how do we get a number that contains a zero okay it should be star i believe zero and then star starts with three and contains a zero mm. yes so do we have a three that, that doesn't contain a zero? Oh, let me see. 
most of the the, the, the ones that start uh, with three contain uh, yeah we do have uh, like let me go back to three there are those that start with three but they don't have a zero come on mm, like this one and this one and this one so we would like to display only these ones they start with a three and they contain a zero so these are the filters that we will use we will start with filter group 17 and uh, say that we are starting with three but i'll change this to set filter the number starts with three and then um we we change the filter group to another filter group say 18 and then the number here will start with um will contain a zero so it starts with three and at the same time it contains a zero for this particular number so we have been able to set uh it's like saying select where this like three there uh, are like three and then like that uh in our sql query and again here we will just reset the filter group to the default uh zero and we'll be able to do that particular search so i'll build and run and we expect results of customers that fit so this criteria this is a filter that should fit the these two criterias for it to display i will run the application for us to view okay we are getting ready and here is the criteria they all start with a three but at the same time contain a zero so uh, this is a very good way of setting a filter it will not override the other filter it will just add on top of the existing filter but again there is another filter group here when you look at this filter group that supports uh, it supports cross column search what is a cross column search um I'd like maybe to display, it's like using the OR operator. You'd like to display um, customers whose, let's take this example. The number starts with, is between 10,000 and 20,000 and OR, or they belong to location code yellow. So anyone who belongs to yellow location code or their number, the vendor, <laughs> the vendor number starts uh, it's between 10,000 and 20,000. We will display them in this page. So another filter group for cross column search is negative one. Um, so the trick with this cross column search is that it does not allow you to, uh, it does not support the UI unlike uh, these other filters. So you, when you create uh, the cross column search filter, you have to directly specify them like you use the mark you need to mark the records that should be displayed so i'll comment all these after commenting okay okay so we will set the we'll set the filter group to that the cross column search after setting it that way the first filter will be for the number and we will use 10,000 to 20,000 the second filter will be for the location code that will be yellow so it's either you belong to this range or you belong to the location code yellow and um, once we have done that we need to mark them because it does not support ui uh, then repeat until rec.next is zero 
So we just need to repeat this and mark these particular records that have uh, uh, they, are, they they have fit this particular criteria. The criteria is true, and then we'll only display the ones that have been marked marked only, and then we'll say true. So in this way, we will be able to display uh, vendors who belong to this particular range, the ten, the ten thousand, or they belong to the yellow location code so the keyword here is using or it is saying this one or this one so that's so important and as usual we need to go back to our, our default filter group i will run the application and we expect to see good results so here we are so um we have displayed all vendors who belong to this particular location code yellow and also the ones that like this uh vendor number 10,000 does not belong to yellow location code but is still displayed and at the same time 20,000 belongs to this one and uh, to this range and the location code and is displayed. This vendor does not belong to this range, but they have the location code. So it's like creating your own query in a way that you want. You have used the and, you have used the or, and at times you are in a situation where you really need to create complex filters. So explore the filter group <clears throat> and the options that it can give you to be able to create complex filters that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one